whenever you're ready. Hey, it's Jacqueline from Stage Right Secrets, and I'm here with Matt Toka. What up? All right, so we got a few questions for you. So, what city is the Rowdy's proud so far? It's Detroit. Detroit? Detroit went way shit. It was really, really exciting. We were in Missouri the day before, it's like 100 and some degrees out, super humid. And so the next day I was like, yeah, actually like, man, I'm gonna have to cancel the show. Like I was lightheaded seeing spots, so I was gonna puke oh. everywhere, like I was all messed up. I was so hydrated. I drank like two gallons of water, and I didn't pee at all. And when I finally did pee, like rocks came out, I was so dehydrated. But we ended up playing, and everyone in Detroit was fantastic. Really, really, and I, I met, uh, Three girls I met on the Blackout Forever tour in the sweetheart, so I gotta shout out Kelsey, Emily, and oh fuck, I think Allison is the other one. But they're amazing. So Detroit. <laughs> so who would you dream toy with? It would be with Green Day or Metallica. Actually, if I could if I had a time machine, I'd go back probably to Metallica. That'd be pretty badass. Right? Yeah. So I know you do some crazy stuff on like you're just like a photographer, right? So, uh, camera photographer? Yeah, yeah. Did that? Okay. So, uh, what's some other funny stuff you want to do? Um, crazy. Man, I don't really know. Uh, I've actually played a game of solitaire once. On stage? Just kind of like, all right, you know, for this, I'm going to just play some solitaire. You just stopped and started playing solitaire? Up update my Facebook status. No, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I, I just kind of go for it. I strangle myself. Yeah, I saw that. I have a song called Ode to My Family, which is about I'm going to hang myself from a family tree, so I hang myself with the microphone cable. Did you get hurt? I did, yeah. I got I got oh, You follow me. Like, you're like my stalker. I like you. <laughs> I like this. I like yeah. this. Wow. Yeah. So, where is your favorite place to perform? My favorite place? Um... I don't know. I just kind of like perform it. I mean, California is really good to me. You know, Rocks is really fun. It's like down the street from Wild Moose, so that's fun. But I don't know. I mean, I like being in Ohio. I'm jealous. I'm from here originally. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm only like, I grew up. Like, my first concert was actually here in Boston. It was wow. the Almond Brothers. First time I ever smelled marijuana. <laughs> and I'm so thankful my parents didn't fuck on the lawn because I probably turned out even more concerts. It really bummed me out. Who'd you go see when you were at? When I was younger, I've seen like uh, the Strunks, Dashboard Professional. I saw Weezer here, which was the shit. Uh, I don't know, I've been to a lot of concerts. Awesome. Ben Harper, John Mayer took a lot of pills, John Mayer and Guster, which is fun. I saw the Counting Crows here as well, the Wallflowers, back in the day, Bob Dylan's kid. He's Bob Dylan's fan, so he's close to like getting Dylan. So. Yeah, the Wall and Warp, what are the best band gifts you've ever seen? You know what? In Detroit, Tanisha sewed together this doll for me. It's like the cool thing. I just posted it on this. It's the sweetest thing anyways ever made. And someone like whittled something out of wood for me. I think I was in Chicago. Her name is Sarah. Wow. I don't know how I remember. I can't remember fucking anything. But I somehow I'm just like pulling this out of my ass. But yeah, and Sarah like made this thing out of wood. It was really it was incredible. The wow. fans make bracelets and stuff, which is really, really neat. You're going to have awesome tan lines. I mean, my tan lines are horrible. Like my feet are super white. And then this is like dark. And this is like white again. And then, like, I put a stepdad tattoo on my nipple, like, a, like, a couple days ago. I just haven't had a proper shower yet. So people just think I have this weird infection. <laughs> oh, wow. So, uh, how does the songwriting process go for you? Uh, I, I try to write, like, every day. When I'm on tour, not so much. But when I'm at home, I try to write every day. So I go to the beach. I love the beach. That's why I moved out to L.A. in the first place. Uh, I usually just write a bunch of songs or whatever I feel like. Oh, this song's the shit. And I kind of take it to the next level and eventually, you know, it's really good mix now. So how many pairs of shoes do you go through before? You know what, these have held up. I've had these ones for like three years. Got them at first for 50 bucks. And for some reason, the shoelaces have held up. They're a little dirty, but... Wow, all right. So who got you into music? Was it uh, a certain band or someone? Music was always big in my household. And my parents were obsessed with just music and going to concerts. My dad was a huge Black Sabbath fan, King Floyd. My mom, Guns N' Roses, Pearl Jam, and Nirvana. My grandma could actually sing in Paradise City. She has no idea what Guns N' Roses is. She just remembers me singing as a little shit. And I didn't really comprehend Guns N' Roses. I just remember it because it was always on my mom was a fan. So she claimed all the good bands. I finally heard Green Day. My parents hated it. They were like, oh, this is my band ever. So I was like, oh, this is cool. This is finally like a band that's my band that hasn't been taken by my parents. 
Green Day's new thing was really like started off with me at Ben Paul gave me a guitar and uh, basically stopped paying attention to school for that long. So what would be your favorite song to cover? Uh, favorite song to cover? We do Burnout in our set, which is a lot of fun. I love that song. And uh, we do Territorial Pisses from the Bottom, which is a lot of fun as well. So, do you remember the first song you wrote and what it was about? I don't, man. I was kind of like an emo kid. My, my family was really, really dysfunctional. And so I started writing when I was like, I think maybe 13, 14. And it was, it was a lot heavier, probably like depressing stuff, like, you know, why is the world all gray or something like that. Awesome. Well, thank you for sitting down with us. I appreciate it. It was fun. Right. Hey, I'm Matt Toka, and you're on stagewritesecrets.com. And I need a shower. <laughs> Smell.